Hi, I'm Linda Cooper-Smith, and this is Closets Etc., the show that brings you creative design and organizational ideas. Come on in. I'm sitting in a closet that was once a nook. The previous homeowners actually had this space as a mini office. There were no doors. When the new homeowners moved in, they needed a closet. What we did is we looked around and we looked at the doors and we decided we would make doors that would actually go with the architecture and match the rest of the doors in the house. You can do that. And also we went antique shopping and found hardware to match the original hardware. Something you should definitely think about when you're designing. After it, putting the doors on, then I had an empty space here to work with. It's very important that when you're designing a closet, you take into consideration exactly what needs to go inside. You want to make sure that you have enough hanging space for the dresses, enough space to display the handbags. As you can see here, we chose to put it in a cabinet to keep everything dust free, and it's lovely. I'm sitting on a little bench here, which is terrific because it serves as a bench to put your shoes on or just chat with a friend when they're, if they're visiting, and then also drawers to have all your you know, you know, undergarments, t-shirts, or whatnot. Notice that I put a raised panel front on this, giving it a wonderful, more rich look than it would if it was just a flat front, and it also goes with the decor. Other things that you need to think about when designing a closet of this size is how many shoes do I have? Can they fit? Well, they, I had enough space up above, but then as the collections would grow, I thought, what can I do? So for all the additional shoes, I put in a piece of slat wall on the side. That slat wall with very short shelves, I was able to turn the shoe boxes sideways, giving it less depth sticking out into the room and also serving the purpose of a better reach in around the corner. One thing that people don't think about when they're designing closets and so on are the corners. There's usually dead space in the corners and you're trying to move the clothes aside to reach things in and you just stick what back there because you can't ever get to it. Well, in this situation, I considered that and that's why the shelves really play an important role in this closet, giving you a much more accessibility to the dead corner. I hope your ideas run wild. See you next time.